drink half a cup a day to lower the glucose and lose a few pounds. Talking about kefir today. Hi everyone. Today's video, I'm here to shed some light on the wonderful health benefits of incorporating kefir into your diet. Kefir is a fermented milk beverage that has been used for centuries and tastes similar to yogurt, but in a thinner consistency. It is high in probiotics, which are helpful for controlling our blood sugar levels, right? As well as reducing cholesterol and even improving your digestion. I'll be diving into how to use this healthful beverage to lower your blood sugar more. So grab a glass of kefir and follow along. Now, kefir has been a traditional beverage for centuries. So if you have ever wanted to experience a smooth, fizzy and delicious fermented milk drink that our ancestors used to enjoy, then look no further than kefir. It can be made from cow, goat or sheep's milk, allowing different regions to put their own stamp on it. Don't worry, if you don't eat dairy, kefir can still care for your needs with it is water-based form called tibicos, which originally came about in the late 1800s. Unlike yogurt though, kefir has a thinner consistency, as I said, and contains many more probiotics, the good bacteria, useful for boosting digestion and helping with lactose intolerance. Move aside some space in your fridge for this hassle-free healthy treat. Now, the study published in peer-reviewed journal called Diabetes, right? Big journal, found that people with higher levels of bacteria called coprococcus tend to have higher insulin sensitivity, while those microbiomes had higher levels of bacterium called flavonofrictor tend to have lower insulin sensitivity. Now, researchers have been examining the microbiome, a group of microorganisms that include some fungi, bacteria, viruses, etc. Do you know they live in our digestive tract? We are full of, you know what I mean. For years, in an effort to understand why people get diabetes, because these microbiomes determine our fate. Diet and drugs are known to have an impact on those microbiome. Now, what else? Studies have shown that individuals with improper insulin processing have fewer numbers of a particular type of bacteria that generates a fatty acid called butyrate. Now, researchers also recently investigated the impact of the lactobacillus strain on blood glucose levels and discovered that lactic acid can reduce blood sugar levels in experiments with mice. You know what happens when you take metformin or berberine or dehydroberberine? Your lactic acid levels goes up a little bit. We think that that helps. Additionally, consuming kefir has been observed to improve gut health, lower inflammation associated with diabetes, and enhance the insulin absorption, meaning Diabetics may lower their blood glucose levels by losing five to six pounds and using much less insulin if you are on insulin. Now, kefir bacteria create compounds like GLP-1, okay, and insulinotropic polypeptides that assist the muscles in absorbing glucose even more efficiently. So if you are paying thousands of dollars on these GLP-1 drugs, what are they? You know them, right? Ozempic, Trulicity, Rebalsis, Victoza, uh, Mongero, you name it. You can induce your GLP-1 yourself if you don't want to be on medications, right? So do that. Kefir will induce your GLP-1. And that will result in more effective regulation of blood sugar levels. We can see that discovering the power of diet to remedy symptoms, right, with this incredibly powerful tool, and you can manage your diabetes more holistically. Kefir is a fabulous fermented beverage that packs a powerful punch when it comes to your overall health. 
not only can it can promote healthy digestion but some studies suggest that it has other benefits too other than what we have discussed what else strengthening your bones reducing inflammation lowering your cholesterol and blood pressure now again kefir provides an array of positive effects it is even said to reduce insulin resistance your blood sugar levels boosting your immunity and slow down the growth of tumors so you can see why it is important to incorporate this into your diet you don't like the taste you'll get used to it kefir has a number of well-known benefits but it's not without its potential side effects so i am a physician i have to tell you it's not all roses right we have to tell you side effects while mild digestive discomfort can be expected if you are not used to it but if you are having prolonged issues then you may want to quit that okay so not everybody is going to be a candidate now you may have bloating gas cramps nausea diarrhea constipation those are common complaints for people who are not used to these drinks but if you start slow and gradually increase the amount you will be okay just even starting with a sip is okay right you don't have to get the whole eight ounces in however rest assured that these drawbacks often fade away after a use of this few times kefir remains an excellent candidate for anyone seeking to explore probiotics in their diet drinking half a cup of something doesn't sound like much but it can go a long way consistently if you do that towards improving your health this wonder drink is packed full of essential vitamins and minerals that bolster your immunity and curb your cravings whether you are looking for energy boosts better digestion healthier skin or simply feeling better overall just half a cup can help you reach these goals with no sacrifices to make so why not start today all it takes is an easy to remember trick drink half a cup a day of kefir for the full benefits you'll be glad you'll, you did that again another video and we ended this thanks for watching until the end please write a comment below what you think what your experience is and let's talk about it and i will see you again in the next video hey guys i hope you are enjoying this channel so far and i hope you subscribed already if you didn't do it and if you did watch this video right there i think that will help you too